guys, this is Bruno from Brainshell. I'm talking today about the shelter. This is a little box that's gonna ease your life as a cameraman. It's very cool, it's got cool features I wanna show you. It's a Canadian product, we're very proud of it, and it's gonna hold any of the Sony CX cameras, all right? Well, let's start it off. It's got a bungee cord, the big gauge one, and a finger pit, so you can take it off very quickly. Now I'm gonna open the top cover, and what's happening? And it's holding up, all right? Very, very nice and clever. This is no magic, it's called a friction hinge. This is cool engineering for you to enjoy. This cover is not gonna fall back onto your fingers while you're playing with the side panel camera. Um, what's that now? This is ABS plastic, very hard material used for making pipings and bumper cars, so it's gonna protect your camera very nicely. Okay? We know you pay a lot of money for your cameras and we know that you want them to be protected. Okay? This is exactly what it's gonna be doing. Now look closely, both shells are overlapping all the way around, so in any condition, your camera's safe in there. All right, now let's move on and see what's below here. A little screw missing? Hmm, have we forgot about the screw to hold up the camera? No, no loose parts on that, all right? That's the old days, guys. Introducing new piece of equipment, the Maelstrom. Let me demonstrate, all right? I'm gonna put the camera on the camera, sh uh, the camera shaft, right there, with one thumb, one hand, in seconds, I'm ready to go for skydive. Let me undo that, is that too fast? I don't know, let's see. Unrolling the process and freeing the camera in seconds, going to edit the movie. Let me do it again so you see it's no big luck, all right, it's like this every single time. Rolling, one hand, one thumb, okay? I could be hold on, holding on to my beer right now, okay? Here we go. In. Now the camera lens uh, can be one and a three quarter inch, any generic type, and it could be a different one. You can carve around, drill holes in it, but once again, this is very hard on impact. Okay, let's see what we can do with the extra space inside. You can use a larger battery if you want. You can use this space to put your uh, cleaning cloth for your lens, or because you're gonna have to use an iPi remote button, you can put the button right in there, as well as all the wiring. Okay, can do that with the smaller models. Now, even the little light may come out from a hole right here, right next to your eye. If you choose to use one of those quick release X-Shot or Skull system, then you can take it on and off very rapidly without the wirings going into your helmet, okay? And this is gonna become your own portable movie production studio. Ooh, 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 right there. It's got two flat walls, so you can top mount it or side mount it if you want. Very light, everything's in uh, aluminum in there, so it's not gonna add any weight to your neck. Example of a top mount, all right? This is my own optic. I use it all the time, I love it. It's very reliable, quick to use, and very light. So I'd like you to try it for your own, okay? Give us some comments about it. Check in online for more infos, brainchill.ca. You can order online. Once again, this is the shelter, or call it the shelter if you want to be cool. That's from Brainchill. We can airbrush that. Also, if you want to fit your uh, suit design, your helmet design, or we can just smack a bunch of stickers on it so you can show your true colors. Guys, thanks for your time. Stick around for more infos about it, more videos. We're gonna show it to you in the sky and on the battlefield. And until next time, have good skydives. Peace out.